Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. And I also wish to send my warm regards to the family of Paul O'Grady, the legendary drag queen, for all he's done for my community. I also want to congratulate Hamza Youssef as he becomes yeah. first minister of Scotland. As the as the first Scots Asian and Muslim to hold such an office, I'm sure the whole House will send his warm regards. Now, in recent days, video footage has emerged of the former Chancellor and the former Chair of the 1922 Committee offering their services for £60,000 on top of their MP's salary. The former Health Secretary offered his wisdom for £10,000 a day. Going once. Can I ask the Deputy Prime Minister, when he is inevitably booted out of office, what will his going rate be? Ah. <laughs> well, can, I, can I welcome her to uh, the, the chamber? Uh, the, system of, the system of declarations is there to ensure transparency and accountability. And of course, the Conservatives backed tightening up those rules uh, to make sure that there couldn't be any lobbying. Uh, but can I also join with, uh, uh, except to take her up on her uh, tribute to the, first, uh, the new First Minister of Scotland. The Prime Minister spoke to him last night. Uh, we welcome him to his place. And of course, the government will want to work constructively with him in the best interests of the people of Scotland. Murray Black. During a cost of living crisis, as his colleagues eye up barrels of cash from fake companies, yep. <laughs> it's the people across these aisles that are being led by donkeys and yeah. they're sitting on the now, the former health secretary also said that he would impart his wisdom for fifteen hundred pounds an hour. Most nurses earn little above fifteen pounds an hour. Who does the Deputy Prime Minister think is best value for money and for the public? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm delighted that the majority of the health unions have accepted uh, the pay settlement. We, we, we think that that's absolutely uh, we think that that's absolutely right. And she, she raises the issue. Uh, and of course, we've uh, we've uh, worked with on a cross-party basis to curb the limits on second earnings. I, I, I notice the benches on this side are, are, are curiously quiet. Is that because? There's ten shadow cabinet members on their benches uh, who are taking earnings. In particular, the shadow foreign secretary looks like he, he certainly doesn't want to be uh, under the limelight. <laughs> He's got earned second earnings from 40 different sources. I, I don't think uh, uh, they can talk about it. And uh, as far as the honourable lady is concerned, we've done everything we can to make sure there's transparency and accountability.